Welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we're going to be looking at adding one, two, three single digit numbers. You're very good at adding two single digit numbers, and I know that you're going to do a great job adding three single digit numbers. Let's look at them together on the board. Class, I have three circles on the board, and we're going to use those to help us add some numbers together today. The numbers that we are going to add are 4 plus 1 plus 5. And we're going to see what those equal. Hmm. I sometimes think it's easier if we have objects to help us. So let's do that. I have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are parallelograms or sometimes we call them a rhombus. I think if I turn them this way, they look a little more like a diamond. But I have one, two, three, four of them. And I'm going to add it to one hexagon. And I'm going to add that to one, two, three, four, five trapezoids. And we'll see how many shapes we have all together. If we add one, if we add four plus one plus five together. Hmm. Did you know that we could do this in any order? We could choose which two numbers we want to put together first. I think I want to put or add four plus one together first because it's the easiest one for me. 4 plus 1. Well, I know that 4 plus 1 is 5. And now I just have to add 5 plus 5 together. And that one is a snap because it is one of our doubles. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then 5 plus 5 is, you're right, it's 10. We have 10 shapes all together. Hmm. I wonder if we'd come up with the same answer if we added them in a different order. Let's try it. Let's not add our four and our one together first. Let's add our one and our five together. Five plus one is six. And if we have six plus four, well, that's another one of our facts, isn't it? Six plus four equals what? It equals 10. And that's already what we had written down. 4 plus 1 plus 5 equals 10. And it doesn't matter which order we add our numbers. Let's try another question and see if it works out the same way. All right, friends, we're going to try another question. And this time, the first time that I write it, I'm going to write it vertically, which is up and down instead of horizontally. The question is 2 plus 4 plus 3. We're going to do that question. Hmm. I like to use shapes. So I have two more parallelograms. So it's 2. And I have four hexagons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 plus 4, and then I have 3 trapezoids. Let's put our trapezoids in our circle. 1, 2, 3. 2 plus 4 plus 3. Hmm. Which two numbers should we add together first? If you're looking at those, which two would be your favorite to put together? I think I want to put the 2 and the 3 together first. I'm going to add those two. 2 plus 3. That is our one of our double plus 1 facts. We'll start with 3 and we'll add on to it. 3, 4, 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And now we're going to add 4 onto that. 5 plus 4 is also one of our doubles plus 1 facts. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
I'm going to write down nine here. Let's count our shapes and see if we come up with the same answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that I've checked it, I'm very sure that's the right answer. Two plus four plus three is nine. Hmm. When we did that problem, we added the two and the three together first. Let's try another two numbers instead. Instead of our two and our three, let's just go in order and do the two and the four. I have two and I'm going to add on to that. Two, three, four, five, six. Six plus three. Hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine. We came up with the same answer. That means it really doesn't matter which order we add our numbers in. The answer just comes out to be the same. You're doing a wonderful job. Today, I would like for you to practice adding three single digit numbers together. You could draw three circles to help you. Or you could have three bowls and you could put items in the three bowls and add those together. Or maybe on plates. I would like for you to try adding three single digit numbers in a really fun way. I hope that you have a great day class. Bye-bye!